Hello again, welcome to part 3.2. This is taking console input. Uh, this is a very, very, very quick and brief lesson on um, taking string input from the console, obviously. So we created these two variables in part 3, first name and last name, so that's exactly what we're going to take now. Uh, just in preparation, we'll delete all of this code. We don't need this. No, we're not going to be using it anymore, and we don't need this, because you understand Boolean logic. Okay, make a note of these if you want to, but they're available on an MSDN and whatever, just called operators. Uh, we'll also comment out this. This will be used in part 3.3, which is breaking out of loops and continuing loops, which you'll understand shortly. Right, so what we want to do is take the first name and last name as input, okay? And we're going to concatenate the two strings together with a space in between, okay, to reinforce part 3.1. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll put console.write. We don't want to finish the line off because we're going to take input on the same line. So we'll put write, please enter your first name. Okay, and a space after that. So when they type, it's not going to be straight after that. Right, and then what we're going to do is put first name equals console.readline. Readline will read uh, what they've typed and after they press enter and wait for the enter key and then take whatever they've typed in. So we just call that like a normal function, and then this will contain their first name. Uh, then what we want to do is repeat the process, console.write, please enter your last name, or surname, whatever. Okay, same, leave a space at the end, uh, last name equals console.readline. Okay, so now first name and last name will contain whatever they type after this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to concatenate the two strings together. Well, in theory, it will be three strings because we're going to put a space in between as well. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put console.write line. Obviously, you don't need to create a new object to be able to concatenate strings together. You can just, because when you concatenate it within these two parentheses or brackets, uh, you are actually creating a new string anyway. So what we'll do is we'll put first name plus concatenation space concatenate it again, last name. Okay, so this will write out there first name and last name, so all together. So now if we run this application, there you go, you see it says please enter your first name. So what we'll do is so Rudy, enter, Visa, and then it says Rudy Visa concatenated all together. Okay, that's it. Like I said, it's a very, very brief input. Uh, part 3.3 will be breaking out of loops and continuing loops based on a certain expression. Okay, so thank you for watching again. Any comments, queries, blah, 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 uh, message me or comment the video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.